Wonderful. Oh, good, because I'm going to kill you. Get in line. Harry, these charges read like a Chinese menu. Stolen vehicle, driving under the influence. McGinnis, I swear, I never touched a drop. Well, swear to them. We're waiting for the results of the blood test. Oh. Oh, and this is nice, too. Trespassing, breaking and entering. Exceeding the speed limit, running a red light, using a car as a battering ram. I didn't hurt anybody, did I? No, but the property damage reports are pouring in. Harry, you were kidnapped, drugged. If you hated the ballet that much, why didn't you just say so? McGinnis, it sounds crazy because it is. But I'm giving you the straight skinny, and I'll prove it to you. The guy who tried to take me out is named Devereaux. Harry, Blake Devereaux is a defender of church charity and apple pie. His reputation is unblemished. Yeah, well, you better get out the clearasil, because he just cornered the zitz market. Harry! Oh, Peters, I'm so happy you're safe! <laughs> mm. Listen to me. I'm telling that bimbo tried to use me like a pincushion last night, and she and Devereaux's goon dragged me into this torture oh, chamber. Harry. Oh, Harry, what's that supposed to mean? It means that your story is implausible. McGinnis, when have I ever lied to you? Uh, to a client, maybe, uh, to the cops? Yeah, why not? But to you, never. All right, all right. Accepting the possibility that your story may be true, which is a big maybe, why? All I know is that Devereaux is knee-deep into something that smells like dead fish, and he thinks I'm some guy named Chapman who's been queering his act. Maybe you should press charges. Cover, boy. Shoot. You just hit the newsstand. Congratulations, McGraw. You sure know how to pick them. Oh, and by the way, I just did a little checking. The reason why you didn't find Devereaux at his home this morning is because he's in Washington receiving an award from the House Ethics Committee. Harry, this is the man who calls himself Blake Devereaux? That is the guy, yes. Hey, I don't care if he plays pinochle with the president. That slime ball tried to get me killed last night. And as soon as I catch up with him, I'm going to take his ethics award and stick it. Hey, Harry. It's your niece. Ah, oh, Dilly. I mean, a man like Blake Devereaux is who... Uh, uh. Harry needs to cool down, but I am not going to throw him to the wall. I understand. We got big trouble. It's been trashed. How can you tell? Oh, it's bad enough they had to roust my office. But did they have to bust my Carmen Miranda ashtray? We better call the police. What for? Nothing's missing. Devereaux's guy did this, looking for something that belonged to Chapman, thinking that I'm Chapman. But since I'm not, what he wanted, he didn't get. Harry, how can you be sure? Chapman, whoever he is, bought tickets to the ballet. How? Cash, uh, credit card, and where? Uh, the box office, the ticket agency. E.J., I want you to backtrack those tickets. Check the theater. I want to find out who this Chapman is, where he is, and what he's up to. And when I find out, I'm going to have myself a large piece of this creep. May I help you? Yeah, I'm Mike Tatelman. I had a security for the ballet company. I understand you people arranged for a pair of tickets for last night's performance for uh, Walter Chapman? I wouldn't know, sir. Yeah, well, we got a little problem, see. Uh, the guy sitting in front of him uh, last night, he dropped dead in the middle of the second act. Good Lord. 
Yeah, they thought he was asleep, but uh, then they found this bullet hole right behind his right ear. Now, we want to keep this out of the papers, but uh, we figured maybe Chapman heard something or saw something, so uh, why don't you give me his room number and I'll go up and talk to him. I'm sorry, that's against hotel regulations. Feel free to call him on the house phone. Hey, we're talking a possible homicide here, amigo. And I am talking hotel policy. The house phones are that way. Excuse me, uh, what do you get for a dozen roses? $55, sir. No, I said one dozen. Yes, I heard you, sir. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, actually, roses are a little uh, ostentatious. Uh, oh, uh, how much is this little thing? That's $30. $30? That's about 10 bucks a leaf. Sir, plants don't grow on trees. <laughs> now, uh, actually, I'm looking for something really simple, uh, understated. Cheap. You read my mind. <laughs> and uh, I'd like you to send it to... Uh, Mrs. Walter Chapman, she's a guest here at the hotel. Delivery for Walter Chapman? Chapman. 531. I'm sorry, Mr. Chapman. No one answered when I knocked. I was told to deliver this to your wife. Somebody sent him flowers to my wife? This thing looks half dead. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I just was told that Thanks I... Thanks for our special time, Rodolfo. Who the hell is Rodolfo? I don't know, sir. All the florists told me is the guy's a real cheap geek. That does it. Get out of here, kid, and take this weed with you. Yes, sir. Get out! Small nerve ending. You probably didn't even realize it was there until now. Uh, I'm Federal Agent Eckstein. I'm looking for Walter Chapman. Isn't everybody? Now I want those tapes, Chapman, and I want them now. Mr. Hughes, Eckstein. I'm in Chapman's room right now. The place is full of listening devices. Yeah, one of Devereaux's goons was a step ahead of me. You must have gotten to him the same way I did, through the ballet tickets. They got away, both of them. But you were right. I saw him myself. And definitely, Chapman and McGraw are one and the same person. Right. Stay tuned for The Law and Harry McGraw. Cut it out, E.J. You're freezing my fingers. Harry, it could be a sprain. You have to soak it in cold water. Or is it hot? I'll let you know when it falls off. Look, Harry, would you mind... I, I mean, what is going on? Is there something you're not telling me? You too? Thanks a lot, kid. Look, Harry, I'm worried about you. I want to help, but I... I mean, how could these people assume you're this Mr. Chapman if you're not? That doesn't make any sense. Hey, maybe I got a twin brother someplace I don't know about, or a perfect double, like in the Twilight Zone, or... Or what? 
I don't know. Listen, hustle yourself over to that hotel and camp out there until Chapman shows up. If the Polaroid's still working, rip off a few pictures of the guy. Sure, Harry. Oh, and, uh, I hate to ruin what's already been a terrific day, but Mr. Spinelli's been calling about his $650, and I also found these three bills due six months ago. Pushy bums. Now, wait till they send the red ones with the exclamation marks, then pay them. Oh, and if Spinelli calls again, tell him I'm out of town. Is McGinnis in? She's been looking for you. Yeah, who hasn't? I was this close to that bozo Chapman. This Harry, close. forget about Chapman. Let's deal with reality. Now, we have three court appearances to prepare for. Your investigator's license is under review, and the store you crashed into is going for the juggler. If they win, you're going to bleed green. $50,000? It was a junk shop, a Harry, Salvation Army. it was an antique store, and the $50,000 is for one dish. They are suing for $800,000. Mr. Chapman, I presume. Uh, Chapman's not here, pal. He had to take his Cub Scout den out to a weenie roast. My name is Hughes, and, uh... Yeah, yeah, don't tell me. Let me guess. You guys are feds, right? I recognize the haircut. This is Special Agent Eckstein. I wonder if there's some place we might talk privately. Mr. Hughes, my name is Mrs. McGinnis, and I'm Mr. McGraw's attorney. Anything you have to say, you can say in front of me. Yeah, and if it's got anything to do with this Chapman business, I'm not saying a word. Well, then you deny... The fact that for the past three months you've been posing 